Hello, I'm Dana Cowley. Thanks for watching Charter Local Edition Northwest. Today we're in Roseburg, Oregon, and we're learning more about the businesses that are already here and what this business climate has to offer. My guest today is Anya Peterson Fry. She's the director of the Umpqua Business Center. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Tell us what services you provide to your community. Well, excellent. I have a dual role here. In addition to being director of the Umpqua Business Center, I'm also the director of our Small Business Development Center, and the two really intertwine together. The Umpqua Business Center is a unique project of the Cow Creek Indian Tribe through an economic development grant, as well as the community pitching together to take an old building and rehab it. And so now what this building offers is a combination of traditional business leased space, a place for organizations that help support local businesses, and an, a business incubator. So it's about a third each, and it offers, as you know, terrific training space. It has a boardroom, so it really becomes a community place, kind of a first portal of entry for business. Mm -hmm. And one of the tenants here is the Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. And Small Business Development Centers are partially funded by the Small Business Administration mm -hmm. as well as the State of Oregon. And here in Roseburg, the Umpqua Community College is our, what we call the fiscal agent. Uh -huh. But what Small Business Development Centers provide is really free consulting for businesses at any stage of their lifespan. Um, as a small business development center, we can help any business that has 500 employees or less, mm. which is how the SBA describes a small business. So we love to have those startups coming in who have new and exciting ideas, and we can help direct them to where they might need to go. And then we hope to build that relationship. So we might have a business who we meet one day and they're getting started, and two years later they're ready to hire their first employee. And they oh. come back and go, how do I write a job description? What do I do? And then they might be gone for a year, and then they come back and they're ready to do their first government contract. Oh. And we can help guide them through that process. So small business development centers are really an integral part of helping our businesses succeed. We like to think of ourselves as kind of that, I guess you could say mentor coach along the way. And as part of that, the Umpqua Business Center has that incubator. And so the SBDC helps to counsel and advise the incubatees, and those are young businesses also, which have some unique ideas, and that might be a, someone who's been working in their home. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of ready to move to that next step. We offer a little bit below market rate, and as part of that, they work with a group of advisors, they work with the Small Business Development Center, um, and I, as the director, try to match them up with their needs. Oh. And that really goes across any type of organization in Oregon that can help. What type of project do you have? We have a unique business, has a clean technology concept. Mm -hmm. And so we connect him with entities such as Drive Oregon, which focuses on clean technologies and has some great resources around that concept. There is an organization called Oregon Best, which helps businesses with small business innovation research grants. And so our goal is if you come to us, how can we help you succeed? and what's the best fit organizationally to make that happen. Well, it sounds like you give them good direction, but also a little bit of a safety net, especially for a exactly. mom and pop who might be coming out of the backyard or the barnyard and coming into that next phase where it can be easy to fail at that stage. Exactly, and sometimes it's just good to have someone to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. When you're kind of on your own out there, it helps to have that objective viewpoint. How many businesses are you helping right now, and what's it brought into your, your community as far as real dollars? You know, we haven't, we don't calculate that exactly the same way. Um, we did, for example, we'll use our 2013 numbers. We actually brought in about 2.5 million in terms of loans and funding that our businesses received. Um, and we have about probably two, probably about 800 hours, I'm thinking per quarter, probably about 800 hours per year um, in our area of advising or consulting hours that we spend with clients. Um, all our client information, however, is confidential unless they give us permission to release that. Um, but we do gather all that through a database and then combine it with our state data as a whole and share that with the SBA as well. Well, I won't want to pry into anyone's confidentiality, but can you give us a ballpark of the types of businesses you see most and help most? Is there a trend or a kind? You know, that's an interesting question because that's, I think, one of the unique things that we see in rural communities, or in my experience, I should say, in a rural community. I think Roseburg is a kind of a good catalyst in that there, I can't say there's one particular type of business. It's very diverse. Um, That's we've worked good. from helping, helping some local hotels and motels to helping the single self-employed person who might be out in Glide 
or out in Drain in a small community who's building an online business. And then of course we have restaurants and retail. So I said it's a really good mix of businesses, mm -hmm. which is leading to a very diverse economy, which is Give really what- a little what more stability, yeah. Exactly, is what, is what we strive for. Anya, thank you. We sure appreciate you being here and thank explaining you. your good works. Thank you for serving the Roseburg community, and we thank you for watching. This is Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Kelly.